Every child has the potential to shape a better world. Every child dreams of a better future. And we've been striving to fulfill those dreams over the years. During the 1950s, World Vision Ministry in the Philippines started when Reverend Bob Pierce uh, conducted pastor's conferences uh, or started the Merseville Orphanage in Mindanao and the Good Shepherd Orphanage in the Visayas. Papasok na na 1960. Oh, na pasok na ako sa orphanage. We live in utter poverty. As uh, sabi ng pastor, eh, doon makakain sila ng libre. Meron silang tirahan at meron pa silang pag-aaral na libre. So my mother finally acceded that we, all of us, will be brought to the Good Shepherd Fold Orphanage. In 1967, I was in grade four. My mother uh, decided to bring us to Merciville Orphanage in uh, South Cotabato. It's not only the physical need that they are extending, but more importantly, I know because uh, the founder of World Vision, Bob Pierce, I met him when I was in the orphanage. He visited us. He was always telling us that having a personal relationship with the Lord is the most important thing that you could ever have. We call him Uncle uh, Bob. And one day he went to the orphanage. He was tall, very cheerful, very, very friendly to the children. Then when uh, he was near to me, I hugged him. So I just hugged him, hugged him. And he hugged me too. And that was a very unforgettable moment because the man with the vision, the man who, who started it all. It was in 1972 when World Vision started its child care projects, working closely with more than 50 Christian churches in the Philippines, which provided support for sponsored children. The World Vision came into my life when I was, I think, nine years old. I lived in a, with my family in a slum area here in Manila. One day, uh, I, I saw World Vision stop conducting um, tutorials and then um, I was watching them and they invited me to, to go with them. And then thereafter, I got to be sponsored. They found a, a family from, from Illinois to help me uh, go through with my studies. In the 80s, uh, World Vision approach to development shifted from child care to family development and then family development to community development. Assistance is no, is no longer exclusive among the sponsored children, but also the, their families were assisted. In 1987, World Vision underwent restructuring and halted its operations, but the work on the ground continued with volunteer staff assisting in community projects and programs. It was very difficult, but I think, on the other hand, it was also a turning point for World Vision. After the closure, that was the start of the, the change where we were encouraged really to go back to the community. I started my journey with World Vision as a community development worker more than 18 years ago in Capiz. And I think uh, those were the best years of my journey with World Vision. I witnessed firsthand the transformation that they have experienced. World Vision has seen many lives transformed and change for the better, bringing hope to more families and communities in the Philippines. They have grown to be better stewards of their resources and are now self-sustaining.